Hello fans, hello viewers, and hello supporters of my channel. Welcome to the unboxing of the Ultimate Songbird Edition of Bioshock Infinite for the 360. Yes, I've actually went full out and bought this thing. <laughs> and truth be told, I am a big Bioshock fan. So, with that out the way, cue the unboxing music and let's begin. Now, as always, we take special precaution in these unboxing videos, so we're going to use a common knife. Just to open that little slab right here. And yeah, it's a very important if you do that. Now I'm going to set this down and let us open it. Which, once you do that, we're going to move something out of the way. With that, let us see if we can move it out of the way. Alright, sometime later, we finally got it out of the box. Now, let's just look at this important stuff right over here. Now, first off, as you pull this out very gently, you will get the game. The game in its utmost beauty. And also the back, explaining the awards that it won, the ESRB rating, and the additional cover. Also, if you actually open it, this pops out. The digital soundtrack. Now, to order this, you actually have to... You can actually get this with the Premium Edition and with the Ultimate Songbird Edition. Also, the Avatar items that you can get and the exclusive gear pack. The gear pack comes as included the bull rush extra extra and betrayer special gears that you can actually get via premium and ultimate songbird edition and for the avatars which comes with elizabeth and booker can only be unlocked via xbox 360 also there's this which i honestly don't want to open but I might as well just do it like this, very gently. And it comes with a picture of the Devil's Kiss, which is a Vigor that you can actually find in the game. I will say this is actually pretty neat. Again, you can also get it via Premium Edition. Also, there is an art book. Now this one I have to kneel an actual to show you this. This is the art book that shows all of the art. See, the art of Bioshock Infinite. Showing you all the creative worlds that it has. The concepts for Elizabeth with her and her schoolgirl outfit. What's what it looks like the mini faces of Elizabeth, her environment, and then we come across Booker. To be honest, I kind of like the newer part of Booker a little bit better. And then we get the Songbird. Then again, this is the this Ultimate Songbird Edition, so you're going to get a little bit more about this guy later, which I will say is a very cool design and the flight of the songbird. Also, there's the founders, which look like entirely pretty much royal people, which pretty much look like they run the place very well. Then there's the Vox Populi, the people who are fighting against the founders, which from what I've heard, and this person looks like the leader of the Vox Populi. The Motorized Patriot, one of the many enemies that you will fight in Bioshock Infinite, kind of look awesome. At the same time, they look creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. The Handyman, as Bioshock Infinite, this is the replacement of the Big Daddy, in my opinion. But are they cooler? I say they look interesting. But I still want to know why the hell they actually have that. Why they're built this way. It looks like they're tor like tormented in a way. The Boys of Silence, which acts like the security system around here. 
which actually looks very awesome. The siren, the siren looks like an alert system. I don't know if that's actually true or not. The Vigors, the bot, the abilities that you can get in the game, are actually going to be very useful and actually look pretty cool. <laughs> I will admit, all the Vigors shown actually look incredibly cool. The Skyhook, the one thing in the game as your mode of transportation, but I can pretty much can guess, it's also your weapon. Now I will not lie, that looks gruesome. It's also creative. The weapons in the game, you, as you can see, the rocket launcher, the pistol, the, sh the machine gun, the sniper rifles, the grenade launcher, looks like a revolver, and the shotgun, right down there. And again, more weapons, probably made for your pleasure. And what looks like turrets. The airships, their biggest mode of transportation. And pretty much Colombia, which makes it look like a very cool place to live, in my most honest opinion. As I continue showing the book in pure silence until now, I will say I am actually very excited to learn more about the world of Colombia. Delve deeper into the art of Colombia. Next up, we have the Handyman figurine. Let me get it out and I will show you what it looks like. This is the Handyman figurine. Now let's see if we can actually open the thing. And here we go. This is what the Handyman figurine looks like. Very small, but I can take it out package. Let's see if I can, off screen, for your pleasure. Not really, but still. This actually looks extremely fragile. Now granted, you can't really see it that well from here, but it looks very cool. It looks like something you have to be very careful with. Alright, I'm going to put this back in its packaging. Next up, we have the Murder Crows keychain. I'll take it out and I will show you what that is. I'm actually going to open the box right here. That way you can actually see how difficult it is. See, very difficult to open packaging. Oh my god. I will not lie. This looks incredible. It's like one of the greatest things to ever own. This is one of the abilities that you can get, one of the Vigors you could find in the game. And I will say, the detail and design in this is very good. And let us not lie, this is the piece to the crestants. The only thing that you cannot get with the premium edition is the camera the songbird statue now the songbird statue is without a doubt the most creative thing I've ever seen with that out of the way let us get it out of the box My god, this is actually very hard to get out of the box until you actually get a hold of it. And let me pull it out. Gently pull it out, which will pretty much give me a hell. There we go. Let's move the collector's box out. So, okay. Move it aside. Which I will say, the box is actually pretty cool. Which I will show at the very end. And now, let us open everything in progress. Now, 
Oh my, so it's actually ones you have to build yourself. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, after a, a long time of getting rid of these damn twisty ties, as you will see right here, I finally got this thing apart. Now, how this goes is pretty simple. It, it is going to be simple. You have to be extremely careful with this, or else everything will be kaput. So, let's just get these on. I finally got the wings on. Boom. Yep. Boom. And now we put them on here. And voila. The bird is finally complete. My god. That it's cool. Now, I'm actually going to take the, the camera off to actually show you much more detail of it. In detail, this has got to be the best statue I have ever seen in my entire life. But, here comes the major question. Is it actually worth the money? To be honest, I honestly don't know. I will say this though, if you are interested in getting the Songbird statue, I fully well, fully think that you should actually get this separate and get the premium edition. And so, let us recap again, shall we? The things that you get with the Bioshock Infinite Songbird Edition pack. You will get Bioshock Infinite, right there, the soundtrack, the Murder Crow's keychain and the little handyman figurine. The art book, the Vig the Devil's Kiss Vigor poster, the upgrades, the avatar packs, which you can get with the premium edition, but if you get the Songbird edition, you will get the statue. And before I end off the video, might as well show the sides of the box, which the box looks incredibly, incredibly detailed, even though you can't really see that one. So yeah. Bioshock Infinite Ultimate Songbird Edition. Is it worth it? I say it is. It's only $150 if you're actually looking for collectors at items. Then I will suggest getting the complete edition. Also, expect a Let's Play of Bioshock Infinite sometime in the near future. So, until we meet again, gamers and viewers, if you like the content, please subscribe, boost up the likes. And share this video so people can see it. So, until we meet again, this has been Levi the Ashman, the Amish Gamer. And I will see you in the Bioshock Infinite Let's Play. So, ta-ta!